Hey, what's up everyone? This is going to be your one-stop source of true news of strange things happening in the world around us. To start with, I'm going to show something that I captured myself. So, this was earlier this evening when a strong storm system rolled through, one of those pop-up systems that built up and you could see that the the amount of energy outside ahead of the squall line, which I'll post later a video of the radar from the Fire TV stick that I had on the on the TV screen. Don't mind the dog barking in the background. He wants help, but I'm not going to take him out in the rain right now. It's pouring rain still and not going to happen right now. Anyway, uh, he's in the garage, so he's good for now. But anyway, the other two dogs are up in their dog houses and everything's all good right now. So, moving back to this topic, this lightning strike actually interwoven. It, well, it was interwoven. It went in between, you can see right here, in between the tree limbs. You can see how it wrapped around them. Had that lightning strike hit the tree, it would have been devastating. It knocked the limbs down. It would have caused a fire. It could have caused many different scenarios. And you can see right here our electrical cable, the power line, and the internet network line was below that, the, the fiber optics network line. So there could have been many different scenarios that took place, none of which would have been, would have been a, good, a good thing. But I had never seen anything like this. You could tell this storm system was very strong due to the amount of energy out ahead of the line itself. It rained all morning, it rained all day, and it was like, well, everywhere else is sunny and fine. Right here on us? Nope, not so much. This line was coming right through Middle Tennessee, and it was strong. And constant rain. I mean, it was, there's been a, there's, I wouldn't doubt there'd have been a lot of flooding. But the energy out ahead of this you could tell that there were hooks in it, so that's a bad thing. That's usually a bad. That's usually indicative of that indicates that there's likely going to be rotation. You could see where the the squall line was moving through, causing straight line winds, 60 mile per hour storm, 40 mile per hour winds with a 60 mile per hour moving storm, pea sized hail, lots of lots of things, cloud to ground lightning, damaging system. Anyway, and that radar was on point, so I highly recommend an app called my radar and there's another one yeah it's called my radar i would highly recommend that from the fire tv stick amazon fire tv stick it's an app that is very detailed and tells you exactly when the storm is going to be there all right so on to the rest of the video i don't know if you know this or not but ibm created machines with five to ten times faster than x86 with a power system of uh nv IDIA. So it's more than 86, it's 5 to 10 times faster. Artificial intelligent data ingestion. They're training this AI, and this is the system, the motherboard. We are very fortunate that it was not snow and ice because what the rest of this country is dealing with and the rest of this world is dealing with is lots of record cold snow and ice. They actually had to delay the Tennessee Vols game because of the heavy amount of rain that was happening this evening. Winter storms were disrupting the entire country of the United States. Storms were moving through ahead of the cold front in this area right here. Arkansas got strong storms. Colorado got snow. Feet of snow were measured in areas of California. 60 to 70 mile per hour winds. Some places got 120 mile per hour hurricane sized wind, which would technically be a typhoon, or not a typhoon, but a, um, uh, you, instead of a, um, but a hurricane-sized storm hit the West Coast. Historic storms are, halt, storms are halting travel across the United States. And as you can see there, Storm 5 weather alerts, News Channel 2, News Channel 4, News Channel 5, all across Tennessee put out storm warnings. That squall line, which I'll show you in a moment in another video that I'll post. Um, from east to west, from west to east, the United States being inundated with major, major storms. One of these snowstorms was actually 2,000 miles wide from Nevada to New England. Just got a comment from Mandela108. She said, wow, yeah, that was something, that lightning strike, how it wrapped around the trees. That was just, that was just amazing. I mean, we were fortunate, you know, thank goodness, thank the Lord that it did not hit because that would have been, ooh, that would have been, if that had hit, it went across, the, it, it wrapped around the tree. And then I was on the porch. I went on the porch and videoed. I recorded with the phone, and it, I mean, it that strike went all the way over toward the barn, but next door, the neighbor's barn, but thankfully, well, not the neighbor's barn, the person across the road's barn, but 
it, it hit the road instead of actually hitting anything. So, yeah, it's it's been crazy. The weather has been insane. So this is just one weather video update on the weather. I'll do another one next regarding what's happening, what's taking place in the world around us. Thank you for watching. And stay as safe as possible, everyone, because it's crazy out there. Signing out.